Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We are doing IO management and from IO management we are talking about the next thing called terms related to IO management. There are many terms which you should know before starting with the IO management thoroughly. One of the term is the transmission media. Transmission media simply refers to the way you are going to transfer data or rather the media. There are many common ways. One can talk about cables which includes twisted pair cable then it includes coaxial cable also has optical fiber another way of targeting media would be contactful or contactless this has usb drives and cables both whereas this talk about wireless in wireless further in terms of transmission media we can have radio frequency we can have microwave and we can have the traditional infrared one of the another way of categorizing is also magnetic versus non-magnetic so together let's see transmission media can be contactful which includes cables and contactless which doesn't require any kind of cables in contactful, we can have various cables, which includes twisted pair cable called as a TCP, out of which generally you use for LAN is UTP, unshielded twisted pair. Coaxial cable, which is traditionally used for transmission of data. Optical fiber, which uses light to transfer the data. In contactless, we talk about wireless. In wireless, we talk about infrared which is used in remotes, microwave which is used in satellite communication, radio frequencies which is used in most of the wireless communication which even includes cell and other cell related communication. Last but not the least is we can also differentiate between magnetic and non-magnetic. Magnetic media would include hard disk drives, external SD that is external hard drive Whereas non-magnetic may talk about optical media. So that's it. That's the first term to talk about transmission media. Another commonly used term with reference to IO management devices is port. First, let's try to understand what you mean by port. Port is communication endpoint. What is the use of port? What exactly port does? Port basically gives basic IO ability that is input output ability. Port allows connection and the way one can communicate with devices. The most commonly known ports can be USB. This is universal serial bus. Older version, serial bus, which called as a serial port. Basically in your computers, you have COM1, COM2. Another commonly known is parallel ports, which is also known as LPT. Old printers, dot metric printers gets connected to LPT. Old mouse and keyboard not keyboard but mouse majorly gets connected to serial new keyboard and mouse gets connected to usb basically port also targets basically devices use ports for reading as well as writing and the way device can be read or write there are two major categories for this it can be parallel or serial that's it thanks for watching this video